Hey guys, Danielle at Danielle TVD. Marissa at Marissa Rothman. And this is our vodcast, We Have Thoughts. And today it's, well, you maybe can't tell too much, but it's very hot here in Los Angeles. It's summer. We're going to be talking about summer television. Um, some of which I think matches the heat because it's, it stresses me out a little. And some of, the, some of the shows that I like stress me out a little because they're intense shows. Um, and so saying that, I wanted to talk about Dexter because the final season just premiered and I'm obviously very sad. It's been one of my favorite shows um, yeah. since just after it started. And I've always really loved the like psychological nature versus nurture that they did in the beginning of the show. And the whole, you know, they very briefly touched on in season one what it was that made Dexter what he is. Was it right. because he was born in blood or was it because Harry taught him a code? And I love that now in the final season they're bringing that full circle yeah. with the introduction of yeah. Dr. Vogel and then, you know, just the whole she knew what he was, she helped make him, but she never met him back in the day. Right. So she created someone having not actually treated him. Right. And that fascinates me because she assumed he was something and right. his whole life after that is based on an assumption. Right. And we've spent seven years now into the eighth season realizing he's not a true sociopath. He do did develop feelings. He has the capability for love and for complications oh, and yes. relationships. And now to watch him have to realize that because this whole time he's still been I'm a monster, etc. And to have to see him deal with it and to have to see the person who ultimately created him deal with it and you know it, it kind of felt like a trilogy in a way like the somebody comes I, I wrote this in my re review like the whole like somebody comes in pops in out of nowhere and like, rewrites what you know in a way because we all thought it was Harry who yeah. created the code but it doesn't rewrite his him it just rewrites our assumptions along with his right. assumptions and I love that I'm so excited for this season and see and like no, above and beyond the rest of the craziness it's, it's fascinating that you say that because when I was watching the premiere I kept thinking of Scream 3 <laughs> because of that <laughs> yes oh, okay and so because otherwise I was like it doesn't really so if you haven't seen Scream 3 close your ears right now I won't really spoil you on Scream 3 yeah I am well, well okay. what I'm gonna say is okay. gonna spoil it <laughs> so close your ears um in Scream 3 we did learn that all of this was kind of masterminded by Sydney's brother. Okay. And so I kind of, in that sense, it was supposed to be a trilogy. Obviously, they had a fourth mm -hmm. one, but it was, right. you know, closing. kind of closing the, closing things by kind of recontextualizing what you knew from the first one and the second one. And I was when I was watching the premiere, and I was, you know, we were talking about talking about Harry and mm -hmm. how this woman so changed the course of this guy's life. Like, had she stepped aside, mm -hmm. who knows what he would have become? Maybe he would become a reckless serial killer who would have ended up in jail after three kills mm -hmm. maybe he would be normal living a life but you don't know right if she but had just given him therapy as right. opposed to a code he right. might never have killed anyone right i don't know that i would have wanted just that to happen because i love who dexter is <laughs> yes um but no so it just kind of reminded me of, of that kind of trope of of recontextualizing things as you right. know the end is coming when you have the right. ability to shape and the way you want it to be shaped mm -hmm. when you have the ability to write your own way out of things. You can do things like that. And I'm really fascinated to see where the season goes. And I'm a little heartbroken because, you know, Dexter is a show that absolutely, absolutely needed an end date. Mm -hmm. And logically, I'm okay with it. But the TV fan in me is a little bit sad because I love Dexter Morgan so much. And I've lost so many of the shows that I love so much in the past year that I just want to be like, can you guys stop leaving me? It hurts. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, a couple seasons ago, we were not giving Dexter good grades, right. and so like, I'm at least glad that they it's going, it's going out high. Yeah, they've they've addressed those issues, or what we thought they didn't. All, you know, not everybody who worked on the show thought right. they were issues, but they've addressed that, they've changed that, and they're saying, okay, well, not only are you going to have a really fascinating case for you know criminal serial killer, whatever, for Dexter to stalk, but now we're turning it back and we're saying, you know. He needs an end. All the characters around him need ends. I mean, I kind of love, um, I, as sad as, as what has happened to Debra is, I kind of love it because she was always such a, an intense character anyway. I just Watching her spin out makes so much sense to me. Yeah. And whether or not she can come back from it or whether or not she has the tragic end and that's what maybe makes him change or makes him realize in himself he's capable of change right. or feeling or whatever it is, like 
all of the little pieces around are um, are really strong this season too. Well, I am glad that we actually got to see the fallout of that versus it just being you know a series finale reveal. Like oh, oh she sure, knows. yeah, no, you couldn't. Mm. Well, but you could. You could. Some, some but lesser shows would take the easy way out and not actually show that. So I'm glad that we've gotten a couple seasons of that fallout. Yeah, I agree. Yay. So we'll, we'll probably talk more about Dexter as the weeks go on because it's amazing and we're sad to see it go. And, and you know, hopefully you'll want to hear Next time I'll wear my blood side necklace. Yeah. I should wear bobbleheads. Yeah. We'll have, have props. It'll be awesome. I have a lot of Dexter bobbleheads because they're really awesome. Mm-hmm. So I'm a nerd. We'll bring props. It'll be awesome. But we're gonna we'll talk about some other some other summer TV right now. Maybe yes. that we're less excited about. We'll see. We try not to judge. <laughs> we no, do. we don't. We judge a lot. <laughs>